Sorry, you guys. That was so weird. I got cut off. <laughs> but the last thing I was saying, she's not following her intuition. And I feel like that's towards blue face. And it's so weird that it cut off at that moment when I said that. Um, she made me not follow her intuition about something else. Not that it is something, dealing with blue face and something else. The star in reverse, the world in, the world in reverse as well. The star is Aquarius energy. If this was upright, it's hope, fame, but it's reverse. There's a disconnection here. Um, they may get another argument. A lot of insecurities here. Man, I wanted the positive. The world in reverse. Seeking personal closure for something, but she's not going to get it. It's just going to be incomplete. Delays. Ten of Wands. Um, King of Swords. Reverse. It's like she feels like she's going to be doing it all. Carrying a burden. Feeling really just tired and stressed out. Maybe feeling like releasing this is the best option. She's burnt out. Yes, with the King of Swords, it's more weakness energy. Manipulation is heavy here. Maybe she's trying to manipulate a situation or she's being manipulated. Not listening to the inner truth and being more callous. Like losing emotional control. Her, she's heavy in her emotions. And the misuse of power is here as well. And the last card was a high friend. It's reverse, you guys. If this is upright, this is a traditional relationship. Marriage, everything's happy. But it's reverse. What she wants, her personal beliefs are being challenged. Like she's in an unorthodox situation. I honestly feel like all these three are in a poly relationship. They just, the two women just don't like each other. I mean, that's what it is. Blueface doing whatever he wants to do. Feeling foolish and feeling like she's going against the grain. And she's very frail. It feels like she's, uh, people see her. Uh, like it's a misconception about her. I don't. Let me try the other deck. I want it positive. Uh, try this. All the cards are upright. Let's see, what are some positives that's gonna happen for Krishan for the month? of February 2023. What are some positives that's going to happen for Kashan for the month of 2023? What are some positives that's going to happen for Kashan in the month of February 2023? Give me the good. Give me the good. These came out first. Oh, God. I was hoping that death card wouldn't come out like it did in all the readings, and it did. That is scaring me that it keeps popping up. You saw all the cards is up, right, y'all? All right, um, Queen of Wands is upright. Oh, that's actually Pisces energy. She Pisces and Aries. She's in her own energy here. With the Five of Cups in reverse. It's like she's trying to be optimistic about this situation. By being like, like really trying to be really loving, virtuous, like, you know, really come off in a better light, trying to think clearer, 
be more like down to earth and think trying to think optimistic maybe even generous just kind of you know buying love or whatever however you want to say it she's really trying that's how she's coming in in a month and queen of ones is the other person as well but it with the going into with the five of cups things are more painful the wounds are getting deeper some things can't be cured is it energy of she's accepting things but wanting to be forgiven like she has to deal with the situation and try to recover from it but i mean for me why do you need to be forgiven like you're pregnant it should be a happy moment for you this is what i'm worried about here though if the death card came out in all three of these readings i did the individual readings for some reason it's scaring me so wow Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Like I said, King of Wands and Queen of Wands are usually the other person. I feel like that's blue face. Or someone. All right. Um, There's a selfish energy around her for the month of February. Um, but the person really has no clear objective. X for the positive. Um, then you got the death card in reverse. Refusing to accept something is over, disappointed, worried, and just resisting the change and maybe just thinking about the past, trying to indulge in the past and what it was and the energy of things just being at a standstill. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, nine of Cups. And seven of cups. Yo, she's heavy in her emotions. She has material success with the nine of cups. Abundance. The baby could be abundance. Her superficial desires will be met. And she has some sort of inner fantasies. There's enjoyment and happiness here. But it's after this death card. It's weird. Like, is this a physical dump or an emotional dump? After this, things get better for her. If things are going in the right direction with the Seven of Cups in reverse, with the, the Nine of Cups is upright, by the way. Her expectations are met, but there's illusions here. And it's, it's seeming like she's going to choose reality, but her gratification for this is going to be delayed. It's not going to be right away. The fool in reverse. If that was upright, it'd be a new beginning. But it's reverse. All right, took a positive. Uh, she's gonna do something without thinking first or thinking about what's gonna happen. Acting stupid, not really thinking. It's a coward energy here too as well. Uh, three of cups in reverse. There's a betrayal here, feeling like you're being rejected and relying too much on a social group or social media and celebrating something prematurely. That's what Jill just said Did the, um, the, with the other card. There's not going to be an instant gratification after that death card. Celebrating something prematurely. I feel like she's going to do something and not think about the consequences and that's going to lead to you celebrate it too soon about something. Um, Page of Wands and King of Pentacles both are in reverse. Yeah, she's going to get bad news. No progression. Uh, with the King of Pentacles in reverse, she's putting money above all, but like a materialist energy. It's just being stubborn selfish maybe not wanting to clean up or do anything just unproductive like she's either going to be unproductive or her financial endeavors are going to be unproductive um ten of pentacles and the eight of swords both are reverse 
conflict, um, some sort of issues with family, new financial issues. She, I'm telling you, she's going to do something. It's going to cause new financial issues, feeling like she's outcast or ostracized. Um, just nobody's really united and she's not satisfied. And this keeps coming out for her as well. So, yes, her brother got arrested, but it's something she's going to do. I hope she's not getting locked up. Or someone's going to press charges on her. Or literally trying to, uh, the energy of she needs to, she's waking up and maybe wanting, like, energetically to be free from this situation. To be liberated or it's actually... You could be getting locked up or you're going to do something where you could possibly get locked up. Just keeps coming out. And I just said the very first card, the energy was forgiveness. Now, this is with this energy also for this card is to be forgiven. That's interesting. Even though I asked for the positive, I'm sorry, you guys. I got to read what it says. Forgiveness and be forgiven. That's interesting. Forgiveness and to be forgiven. Let me clarify those two cards. Clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh, wanted to be forgiven from family or forgiven for conflicts or this new financial issue? Ew. Wanted to be forgiven for her actions. Clarify. Clarify. You see that? Justice. Something to do with legalities. This is Libra energy as well. Could be something to do with Jane Lex as well. Legalities. She's going to do something. Or this may be something she's done in the past. This is her energy or someone energy around her. Someone could be taking her to court, suing her. Something of that nature. <coughs> or she could be getting justice within the situation, like having good karma. Don't jump to conclusions. Could be balancing harmony in the situation. Oh. That's interesting. Be forgiven and justice. How those cards came out. That's good. Whatever it is, it made me something. Huh. What? Huh. That keeps coming out for her. Let's move on to what are the positives for Jane and Alexis for the month of February 2023. I hope it's more positive than that. What are some good stuff that's going to happen to Jane and Alexis for the month of 2004, February 2023? Anything else? That's a lot of cards. Thank you. Oh, wow. There's that Justice card. So, it that makes me feel like that Justice for Krishan is pertaining to Jane and Alexis, possibly. I'm asking for the positive, and it's, let me put these to the side. <coughs> Excuse me. Page of Wands. She maybe trying to start 
going the spiritual path because of the lack of direction and a lot of procrastination on her part or someone else's part. Um, but it may create conflict. And she has a new idea about something. Then there's a king of cups here. Ooh, Aquarius and Pisces energy. Huh. This is blue face. Things are more emotionally balanced. Like he's going to be more compassionate to her. Like trying to be more em empathetic. More in control of that situation. That's why there's a lack of direction here. It's going to lead to this. He's going to try to try to do something to fix the situation. It's funny. It's Aquarius and Pisces energy. Four of Cups and Injustice in Reverse. She's a Libra as well. That came out for Kashan, the Four of Cups. A sudden awareness and trying to choose happiness and just accepting things for what it is. Maybe withdrawing from, like just being in the house more to check in for alignment or maybe going to a spa. But with the justice right by this, there's an energy, actually for the positive, but um, unfairness, something guilt, a guilt, feeling like she's being punished, but not a lack of truth, um, not having accountability. However, feeling like it's a punishment. There's guilt here and unfairness. Oh, this could be related to how she feels about um, Kashan actually being pregnant. Then you got Three of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, and Queen of Swords, Virgo, Libra Energy. She's heavy in her own energy. Yeah, you got Libra Energy here. So there's this harm. I asked for the positive. This is there's this harmony. Feeling like she's working alone. Three of Pentacles is usually a group conflict. So obviously there's a conflict for February, and I feel like that's Christian being pregnant. Things are not aligning how she thought they would, which is making her be more overly emotional with the Queen of Swords. Bitchy. That comes out a lot for um, Jane Alexis. Cruel and bitter. Down here, you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. She wants forgiveness, too. Or needs to forgive. She's working on self-development. That came for her. Uh, came out for her personal reading. She's working on self-development, but she's also not feeling it. She's not inspired, not motivated. There's no passion. So she's working on herself, but it's because of this pain from this Three of Swords. She knows she needs to release it and have forgiveness, to give forgiveness, or needs to be, she, she needs to forgive. But there's optimism here, like a recovery period, and then she's going to move on, or try to at least. Mm, five of Wands, Leo Energy. Yeah, there's going to be, I asked for the positive, yeah, the chariot in reverse. There's going to be some tension, uh, conflict, disagreements being put in a rivalry and a competition. And the chariot in reverse is a lack of direction again, a lack of direction and a lack of direction. Not having control of a situation. It could be making her be more aggressive, arrogant, and careless, or that could be someone else's energy pertaining to this situation oh wow queen of wands aries and pisces energy she's trying to maintain her self-respect and be confident but she's gonna it's giving me she's gonna be somewhat introverted because of some emotions she's has about being selfish jealous and insecurities and the hermit is pretty much the same thing it's it's upright it's she's soul searching she's gonna be soul searching choosing to be alone yeah, this is looking for inner guidance, maybe meditating and trying to be more conscious. Jalen Lexus is a spiritual. Um, is this because Crunch Krishan is pregnant that this pain is coming from? Is this, oh, I, I forgot I had these cards right here. It came out again. The Eight of Swords. More negative thoughts imprisonment energy and entrapment oh do you feel like Krishan's trying to trap blue face with this baby and five of cups 
she's regretting she's disappointed regretting like in her feelings two of ones she's still planning something though she's making decisions and the ace of pentacles there's abundance here this came out for her reading that i'm waiting to upload a new career or a new financial opportunity new ventures prosperity abundance like she's manifesting everything she wants but the ten of pentacles is in reverse it's the last card it's the dark side of wealth it's something fishy about jane alexis and blue face and energy i want to see if it's going to come out for blue face again today but for this reading for jane and alexis to end like that Some sort of money is coming to her, opportunity, a new career, financial opportunity. I um, I was watching something. I forgot what I was watching. And I said, I wouldn't be surprised if Blueface isn't trying to get a reality show with everybody on it so everyone gets a check. But I don't know how that'll work because most of the people don't get along with Krishan. So it may be they're shopping for a reality show for just him and the baby mother. I don't know why I was thinking that. Um, so is Chris, is Jane Alexis feeling some type of way because Krishan is pregnant? Because she's, she's, is that what that is with all these different emotions and negative self-talk? Is that what this is, Spirit? Yeah. With the two of cups. It's interesting that Two of Cups is what the answer was. There's a marriage energy here, a unified love, a connection here. I don't know if marriage is really on the table here. It could be like, how do you make up for getting someone you suppose you don't care about pregnant? interesting clarify this two of cups for jane alexis oh or, or, oh were you this is the person you're supposed to be getting married to so this i feel like this is messing up what clarify this <laughs> i'm supposed to be the only empress what you doing this is how it's supposed to be two of cups and the empress but now she's pregnant so Spirit, this is saying she feels like Krishan being pregnant is messing up what her ultimate plan was. Ooh. Secrets, the high priestess. Secrets and the ignorant misunderstanding. A, a hidden agenda. I've always felt that Jane Alexis and Blueface had a plan and it's coming, it keeps coming out. A hidden agenda. This is not what was planned. And there goes the unpaid depths again with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. More power and domination with Jane and Alexis in blue face as well. And feeling like one person is getting more than the other. And there you go, blue face. Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. Something about blue face and Jane and Alexis are trying to act strategically feel like they're getting away with something and it's energy betrayal deceptionalized like this was not a part of the plan Krishan getting pregnant let me ooh, okay something really i don't know something's iffy about jane and lexus and blue face's energy like, I, I, that wasn't part of the plan. Uh, what are some good things that's going to come out for Jane? What's going to come? Oh, maybe something's good is going to come out about Jane and Alexis. Or there's something good that's going to happen for Jane and Alexis. What are some good things that's going to happen for Jane and Alexis? February 2023. <laughs> She's going to be standing her ground with the seven of wands. More brave. 
and she's in a more favorable and better position, but it's because she's like has a force spoon, like she's forcing it. I told you, I feel like she's giving Blueface an ultimatum. She's standing her ground about something, and there goes a fight energy. Like her and Blueface may be fighting, or she gonna be fight. Well, who else is she gonna be fighting with, Krishan? There's a fighting energy there as well. Um, page of source in reverse. Belated news and poor communication, being defensive and careless, caring too much about what others think. She's going to try to be patient with this temperance card. Damn, there you go. There's a reconciliation energy here as well. That came out the other day with her reading. Um, trying to heal the situation and some, I, um, there's some sort of will to achieve harmony like she me I, we're gonna we're gonna work this out an internal balance because she's trying to work on herself and there's healing here seven of cups temptation trying to work it out mm, but there's temptation i feel like this is for blue face and so many different choices And more concerned about with how things look. Huh. Ooh, the hyphen in reverse. Who did it come out for? That came out for Kashan as well. It's in reverse. She's self determined. <clears throat> and doesn't really care about a traditional relationship. Ooh, and the lovers. <laughs> Betrayal, the energy of betrayal. Like this goes against her moral standards. Someone could block somebody. This uh, or this energy of breaking up. I think these two was always in a relationship. Like the status of a relationship with Jane and Alexis is really uncertain for the month of February. I'm asking for the positive. Ooh, child. She's. That baby news was not part of the plan. Let's go on to Blueface, my favorite person. Not. What are some positives that's going to happen for Blueface for the month of February 2023? I don't know why it's so late. He says he's making all his money, but I feel like his finances aren't as great. And it's his, he's more concerned about, okay, Kashan's pregnant. That's going to mess my cash cow up. Um, I don't know why I've been feeling like his finances aren't that great. Okay. Um, what are some good things that's going to happen for Blueface for the month of February 2023? Anything else, Spirit? This guy is all about the money. He should... What are the positives that's going to happen for Blueface for the month of February 2023? All right, guess what's up? Eight of Cups. Ooh, Pisces energy. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't like that. I said the positives and how those cards came out. Who's a Pisces? Krishan is. It's like he's leaving, trying to leave her behind. Or, okay, it could be she's leaving him behind, but I don't think that's the case. It's like he's looking at leaving her behind. It's an abandonment issue here, a disappointment, trying to withdraw, escape, walking away, and try to leave behind. And it's Pisces energy. So, for those who keep saying I'm negative towards Krishan, you saw me shuffle. That's the first thing card that came out from Blueface. He's really trying to walk away. And that's a positive, something positive for him. He looks at it as a positive. Page of Pentacles in reverse. A lack of commitment. He's he is his energy now is I don't want to commit to that. He's greedy. There's an energy of greediness, lazy, and a lot of procrastination. It's like you he been wanting to do this, but he took his time, procrastinated, and it's like I learned from my failure. I learned from my mistakes that I don't want to be in this. 
this guy that's positive to you, Blueface? That's disgusting. Nine of Wands, Leo and Cancer energy. Six of Swords, Aquarius energy. Yeah. He's energetic. He's going to be more passionate, fearless, impulsive, doing what he wants. Um, making action moves that he's inspired by. Being more adventurous, fearless, not caring, or impulsive. He's always been impulsive. And with this Six of Swords, you see the person's leaving. Not looking back. It's a transition. He's looking for change. He's going to change. He's leaving behind something or someone. Take it as it resonate. He wants to release baggage. That's the energy he's on. Moving on. Walking away, leaving behind, releasing, leaving behind. It's two. Both of these cards say the same thing. The positive for Blueface for the month of February is leaving something or someone behind. And I don't like that. Eight of Pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> Skill development. I swear I think him and Jane and Alexis are working on something. He's developing his skills as well. I said if ever, if this Jane and Alexis reading really were ever upload, that both of them are in the same energy. They're on the same page, and it's weird. Really weird. He's being more passionate, like really working on him. Things that's going to make money. Something that he repetitively does, like trying to become a master at it. And also increasing his standards. Ugh. Let me go on to Jane and um, Chris, Chris No. <laughs> What did that is? Let me go on to Jade. Why did I say it? Let me go on to Jade and Alexis. Is that what he's thinking right now for February? Let me go on to Jade and Alexis. Wow. Why did I just say that? Um, let's try another day. What are some of the good things that's going to happen to Blueface for the month of February 2023? You see, I'm shuffling. I'm really trying to get the good. So the death card only came out for the crush shine reading. Please be careful. I don't like that. It could be metaphor metaphorically just not wanting to things to change, but it's gonna happen. What is say NG for what is what is Blueface? What are the good things that's gonna happen to Blueface for the month of February 2023? I, I can't make these people do what I want them to do, but I feel like she's pregnant. At least give it a one more chance. You know, that ain't the time to really try to leave. Uh. Oh. Dang, all the Empress. That is good. Babies are blessings. Babies are blessings. That is something positive, Blueface. Even though anything else, spirit, babies are blessings. Fertility. <laughs> That's something good, Blueface. Whether you want it to or not. Anything else? They want to clean the cups. Oh, wait a minute. Kick out about four, one, two, three. And even her. There's hella women in his injury. Uh, why did I say injury? Is somebody going to get hurt? There's hella women in his in energy. Somebody might possibly get hurt. I heard injury. I literally blurted that out. So in his mind, <laughs> this is the positive for him. There's hella women here. I feel like that's Kashan because we know she's pregnant. But there's a Queen of Pentacles here and a Queen of Cups. That's usually Jane and Alexis. This... Guys, a whore. Um, three of Wands, commercial success. So she, he might um be opening up another restaurant. That's commercial success here. 
commercial, like a commercial business, commercial homes, or maybe even the commercials. He, yeah, I don't. Does he model or something? He, yeah. Um, or he's working on something. He's literally one step away from some sort of success commercially. Like that could be an actual commercial or being in the commercial business, whatever. Take it as a resume. Uh, and he's committed to completing whatever that is. He's seeking cooperation, so I guess they're still negotiating on whatever it is. It's something he's secretly working on with Jalen Alexis, I feel like. He's exploring new territories and using his foresight. He's really looking to the future. That's what the three of ones. He's planning, and I felt that for him and Jalen Alexis. And then you got the Empress. The Empress came out, buddy. So it's, I don't think Krishan's lying about this baby. That keeps coming out. I, I do believe she's pregnant. But if she's not, she could get pregnant. Uh, but I think she is. It's the energy of fruitfulness, beauty. He's going to be having pleasure, though. And that's success for him. A material wealth. I said that for Jaden Alexis, I believe. They working on something that's going to bring them both money. I don't know if it's a reality show or something. They're working on something. And then his motherhood and fertility. Something he's working on, something creative. And I feel like it's with Jay and Alexis because they're in the same energy. Or it could be because obviously that's his baby mother. So what's good for him is good for her. That's, I don't know. I don't know why I feel that way. Um, Four of Cups reverse. He's, ooh, he's moving on from past hurts. Trying to build a new relationship. Coming out of hiding. Detaching from something. Like he's bored. And trying to shrink back to who he is. Ooh, ten of Swords. There's a misfortune here though. Endings. A lot of jealousy and hatred. Oh my god. I don't care what nobody says. Krishan, be careful. The Ten of Swords could be... Someone getting hurt. Like, just backstabbing someone and that hurts that person or vice versa. Or someone getting assaulted because of retaliation. Because he's looking at a brighter horizon and trying to release something. But this, the other person or the other situation is not going to respond well to that. Be careful. Be careful. I say, it, I, 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 mm -mm. be careful. Hatred. Ooh. I'm asking for the positive. Do you hate somebody that bad and is willing to assault them? Or, ooh. I'm worried about. I'm worried. I'm very worried. Queen of Pentacles. It's more wealth and maternal. He messing with somebody else that's a mother figure. This is maternal, the empress. More maternal energy. Wanting to generate prosperity. So he's very into his finances for February. Trying to be more responsible. Be a go-getter and using his resources and being more resourceful. Also being generous. He may be, are you going to try to give something to your baby mother? I, that keeps coming out. Something that was is going to help generate prosperity. It's like some sort of gift. He's thinking about giving. I feel like it's to, to a mother figure, Jane Alexis or his mom, that's going to generate prosperity. It would make sense to be the baby mom or his mother. But I thought this was her. There's so many women here. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, he got he has investments. And he's gonna get a return on those investments. Planning, working really hard. Seven of Pentacles. And also reflecting on things. Some sort of he's either gonna be promoting something or promoted 
don't know what that could really mean for him. It's something he's working on. Queen of Cups. Is this somebody else? His energy. This person is well loved and. I don't think it's him. This person could be also an artist or a rapper. And they get each other. Relationship. It's several women in his energy. Somebody he looks at somebody like they appear to him. Maybe it's because he never had sex with them. Uh, what? And the person is does some sort of creative like or music maybe? I don't know. Um page one is yo, he's he has good news coming. And he's really confident, adventurous, da, 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 da. and spirituality came out for him. As well as it came out for Jane and Alexis. Yo, I said uh, in the other reading, I'm like, I don't know, somebody doing black magic, voodoo. There's something spiritual going on. It came out today with Blueface and Jane and Alexis. So it's something someone's doing or trying to do. Um, Nine of Pentacles. He's ignoring personal relationships. And that's good to him. But also very lonely and empty and depressed and dissatisfied, um, overindulged in materialism and luxury. And it's still not truly making him happy. The moon in reverse, we, if you've been watching these readings, this is Pisces energy. Um, there's a lot of confusion there. It, it will end. That energy is, this is something we'll end. Um, the situation or he's looking at it irrational, uh, not really, not using a lack of judgment or self-control, self -control, but he's also confused about it. And it's very, uh, he's uncertain on the situation, uncertain and risky. And um, there's deception here. This seems like it's going to be more deception, but it's not as bad as it was in the past. And, uh, Energy changes, but I, I had another question. Did um, Blueface get a vasectomy? I'm curious. Did Blueface get a vasectomy? Did Blueface actually get a vasectomy? Because I said, Carlissa said that. I'm like, oh, post the receipt. I'm like, where did she come with that? Did he actually get a vasectomy? Did Blueface get a vasectomy? Did Blueface get a vasectomy? Queen of Cups. Yes, yes. No. Yes. What? No. I think he was supposed to. Is that what that is? Was Blueface supposed to get a vasectomy? Did he say he was going to get a vasectomy? Did he? Maybe. I think he thought about it with a high priest. Yeah. He did say he was going to get a vasectomy. Double yes. And <laughs> maybe. But... Something about he followed his intuition. Let me ask my other dad. Did Blueface get a vasectomy? Did Blueface get a vasectomy? Did, did you lie, Blueface? Did he get a vasectomy? 
<laughs> blue face. Oh God! Did you get a vasectomy, blue face? Yes, with the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, and Capricorn energy. Double confirmation. Yes. Ten of Cups, Pisces energy, reverse, shattered dreams. Maybe, no, no. I feel like he wanted to get one because Ten of Cups reverse is shattered dreams coming from a broken family, like not getting alone. Uh, also wanting to disconnect or there's a disconnection. The, their values don't align and the relationship is struggling. So I feel like Spirit is telling me, um, you, I think he considered getting a vasectomy because he really didn't want to have kids with Krishan because it just, they're too different. That's not somebody he went to have kids with. But I'm not 100% sure if he actually got it. The answer is, <laughs> I think he considered it and discussed it. He, this was a discussion. But I don't necessarily think he got it. And he wanted to keep the situation going. Six of Pentacles. I, she said it again that he she gives all his money, her money to him. He wanted to keep that going, I feel like. And, you know, having that baby, even though there's a baby here. It, true. Uh, I'm just... I'm going to end that there. That's just too much. Um, yeah, I really tried to look for the positives. Sorry. Bye.